What's up y'all, Isaac Crumpton here. We're gonna be doing a full wheeler video. I have it set up like this. This is how it's mainly gonna be. I'm not using a microphone right now. It's, it's gonna be the um, mic that's on the phone right now since I'm gonna be, you know, more than nine feet away from the end moving on a full wheeler. So this is how the shots are mainly gonna be. I have my remote right here. And so let's see how this is uh, this pretty day we may do show the food plot we're gonna show the food plot too probably and to show you what I get to ride on and do probably to show what I did to the four wheeler so I'll see you back on the trail what's up y'all so we're at the first food plot site well the only food plot site here and it's looking we just pointed it yesterday it's not the best spot and uh, I'll get a shot on this right here. See, it's only about 20 feet, 20, 30 feet um, uh, thick and about 80 feet long. It's a nice little food plot for what we spot the spot where the stand is. It's just we need to rain on it. Right now, I planted rape and uh, um, kale. That's the two things we make. There's some turnips on it. And I haven't thrown a video in a while. I wish I could have got us um, uh, making the food plot and getting it ready. But it was uh, school. And I was at school. My dad was plowing. So if you can't see right there, that's the stand. It's only about 50 yards away. Oh, my hair is a mess. So this got from the shower and stuff. But... Um, we're just going, that's the food plot, and that's what you're going to be seeing me hunting on this deer season. We should get a deer or two this deer season. Hopefully, we'll see a buck on this food plot. There's only about five bucks in this area, kind of. It's good hunting up here for what I have. And so, let me turn the camera around. Well, I can't right now. Man. I need to get better on my videotaping. I look so unprofessional right now, but I'm getting better and that's all about it, just experience and stuff. So I'll get back to y'all and we'll go over what we did with the full wheeler, what kind of um, um, mods we did on it and stuff. So we'll uh, you'll get to see how the full wheeler looks. I'm sorry the shadows right there too, but the sun's on me. So we'll get to the full wheeler. As you can see, this is a Kawasaki Prairie 360-360cc motor on it. It's a 2004. It's pretty old, but we had to fix it and just um, uh, and I'll get to that what we did and stuff and what I did to the four wheeler. So, starting off at the front, we have kind of terrible um, uh, front lights, but they do pretty good. We have the radiator, and let me get y'all behind all of that right here. That's what I broke. It's a tie rod, and we put fresh ones in, put new tie rod in. That right there is a tie rod in. I messed that thing up, too, when I hit a rock. So, thicker, better tie rods. Now the steering's great on it. That was just kind of a small, easy job. It was no biggie. That's all balls. Um, uh, racing is what the uh, tie rod ends we use. Oh, look at that. There's four four crows going. If I have my shotgun, they'd be dead by now. We may, we're going to be doing crow hunting pretty soon too, hopefully. So back to the four wheeler. Let me show you the wheels. It's almost time to put fresh wheels on it. The treads on these things are almost worn down, but that means I can spin out better and stuff. Let's get to the big project that we did. Right there, with that little spring going down to that um, uh, adjuster, that's the carburetor. And if you don't know what a carburetor is, that's what fuel goes through, and then it, it's like your throttle, it adjusts how much fuel is going in when the throttle is pushed up. And what ha and there's um, uh, 
couple of valves in there we had to replace. We got a carburetor rebuild kit for about three bucks and then this made it a, basically a brand new carburetor. So this thing's still running. The brakes that we have on it are EBC brakes. Not sponsored, but maybe we'll get sponsorships in a, pretty soon. Other than that, stickers peeling off. And here's the, what I drive it with. Got your ignition. That cuts the electricity off and stuff. Throttle. Fuel tank, pretty standard. But that's one good look at the um, uh, food plot. Should look good once if it gets enough rain. But here's the power lines, and then here's the trail. That's what I'm driving in. I'll get a couple of shots and of uh, me driving on it. So I'll get back to y'all once I get back onto the trail. Here at Dove too. Where's that Dove at? Dove season is coming up. We are going to do a dove hunting video too, hopefully. set y'all up and I'm gonna drive it and go pretty fast by the camera and hopefully we'll get a good shot so I have the tripod let me adjust y'all sorry the video cut off it's cuz the uh, I accidentally hit the cut off switch but here we go something up here that's pretty neat so picking y'all up again i know the video is shaking dust is probably on the lens but let me turn y'all around and then zoom up on there if you can't see right there there's a dove right there two doves right there one dove right there now we're going to be going down towards that area. It's a lot to four wheeler, so I'm glad I have all this four wheeling. So, pretty sunset, too. Maybe we'll see some deer, too, hopefully. Right there. I know the video is 
terribly shaky. You're just going to have to just put up with it. It's pretty smooth right here, but right here I need both hands, so I'm going to sit y'all down so I can get the shot. I could edit all this, but I think it's just better than one video. Then I'll cut back and we'll do um, this like a cut the video off so all right I think that's good Let me check. yeah it's pretty good and we get together I will have a cameraman so let's see what I went through pretty big ditch right here and then a big drop off there so I'll get back to y'all I'll be at the house and I'll talk to y'all maybe do a story time or we can go to my favorite mud hole so I'll get back to y'all and y'all just gonna have to see what happens all right we're back at the house don't mind the mess behind me Oh, guess who that is? One and only. Come here, buddy. It's a very serious rooster. So, T-Bird's doing pretty good. All the hens are doing good. They're just super hot. It's summer and they have feathers on and stuff. And there's the rooster we don't like. Long shank. So, we're just, I'm just going to get y'all caught up what I've been doing. It's not really much. But, i just been going through school. I've gone through like the first two weeks of school. It's been kind of boring and hard. And I went crow hunting once, and I just haven't seen the action just in the evenings, and usually I've been busy. I may do even a marching vi band video where we're playing our show music or something. But it's just been super um, uh, hard and just constantly doing something. Excuse me. But, trust me, this winter we're going to be doing some, lots of hunting, basically. But dove season is coming up, so I'm telling y'all, once dove season comes around, y'all are going to get a couple dove hunting videos. Hopefully I can get together with my buddy, Reese, and we'll go dove hunting. But, I'll see you, what's going on there, may be busy. I don't know, but I know I will get at least one dove hunting video. This full wheeling video may have been boring, and this video is like super long for some people. But, um, I've just been really enjoying the comments and support from other YouTubers and y'all. And I want to hit 100 subscribers by the end of this year. Yeah, who's a good girl? That's my dog, Sandy. The squirrel season. She's gonna be the star on the YouTube channel. But, once again, Isaac Crumpton signing off. See you next time.